Alright guys, I'm gonna play through this again. This is from the creators of Naginata. It's actually pretty improved upon. It's Arc Wizards 3. I played through it the whole game, but the fucking music is so fucking unbearably loud. I have to replay through it because that was just pissing me off while trying to edit the video. Oh lord, on the third stage it gets ridiculously loud. It's like this club music. I like the music, but god dang, dude. And I don't think there's a way to change the sound. Maybe there is. Let me check. Before I start talking crap about it. That's unbearably loud, though. You can turn it down for your computer, but I don't think you can turn it down in-game. No, you can't. So, I turned it down this time, and now this playthrough should go better, because I had, like, the insurance comp company calling me while I was playing through it the first time. And it took away my sound out of my headset. It was still going through the game, or like through the recording, but I couldn't hear anything, which was incredibly toxic. Oh my god, dude. Because I didn't, I wasn't smart enough to disconnect my headset from my phone to the Bluetooth, so it just took over once the phone call came in. But the things they approved upon in this game is when you pick up like a um, special move filling items, those little Star David things. It actually upgrades your weapon now, which I really like. I'm glad that they, like, put in, like, a stronger attack. First upgrade makes it go across the screen, and after that, it's, like, just bigger. It doesn't make you do more damage, though, which kind of sucks, but... But, as always, like, the art style in the background is really well done. I like the sprites. But it is very much like Naginata. The special move actually is worse in this game, by a lot. It's actually trash. It's the only use really is to kill the bosses, because it won't even one-shot like these guys anymore. Um, game does get pretty hard towards the end on difficulty 3, because wave 3, there is a ridiculous amount of enemies. But yeah, like Naginata though, the more you move forward, the faster the enemies spawn, and unlike the first one, you can't spam your special key and then like run across the stage to uh, kill as many enemies as possible. But your special key kind of sucks. You have a bat form in this one, which is kind of cool. Um, if you use it, you get hit right coming out of it. You don't lose your special or your like upgrade either. But um, sometimes it doesn't go off. I don't know why that is. At first, I thought it was because I was moving while trying to use it, but that's not the case. I just don't know why it doesn't go off sometimes. But I mean, it's still better than having a jump. It's way better than jump. These guys, too, will spawn, and they launch those from all the way across the screen when you can't even see them, which is annoying. Because they can hit you, but you can't hit them until you get them on screen. Um, some improvements I think the creator could make, which would be a lot of work, but just throwing them out there in case it's curious. But what I think would improve it is... Maybe having like some kind of point buy system where you could like actually purchase upgrades for like maybe attacks that work differently. Like a faster attack or attack that does more damage but it's like more precise or condensed. Or like a larger attack that does more, uh, less damage but hits more things. Fills up more of the screen. I always think that's kind of cool when you have like different kind of upgrades and you can make your choice on your play style. And, like, having different mechanics for the attacks would be nice. Because all the attacks are basically the same kind of bullet thing, except for the bosses. The bosses get, like, swirling bullets, but... Um, either you nuke them down with the special attack, or you're kind of just screwed. They're pretty undodgeable. They take up, like, the whole screen. But I just nuke down the, spe the bosses with the special move. Even though it's weaker in this one, it's still really good against the bosses. Um... But yeah, like having a mechanic, like maybe there's like something that pops up on the ground when there's like a certain enemy, and then you have to move off that space to dodge it or something would add like a lot of depth to and challenge without just like because in higher difficulties usually in Naginata at least there's more enemies and it takes more shots to kill the enemies, but they pretty much do the same thing. It's just a um, quantity over quality. Adding different mechanics for attacks could add more quality to the survivability and the dodging and everything. But you'd have to be careful implementing that as well, because it could get, like, super overwhelming. Uh-oh. 
Now YouTube's attacking me. First as an insurance salesman, so now it's some damn YouTube with the notification. I need to... Dang. Oh, uh, are we on stage two yet or are we still on stage one? These stages are ridiculously long, boy. I think he made the game longer without, like, adding more bosses. Granted, I don't know if adding more bosses would do much to the game anyways, because like I said, you either nuke them or you're probably going to die. I'm sure you could play around them, but it's just not worth it. <laughs> oh! But yeah, if you get hit, you lose some of your special move. But if that was a Naginata special right there, boy, he would have died in like three, maybe. I get it weaves across the stage, but that actually makes it miss sometimes. And the Naginata thing was just a large thing that just scraped everything in the mouth. Each stage does have different music, though. I wonder if it's too loud still. I'll turn it down just in case. I don't know. It's just not worth it. I'm not playing through it again if it's too loud. I am not playing through it again. Because even though I do appreciate the fact that this is a better game than the first one, still not my type of game, really. Tight. Now, if I had a points buy system like Raptor or something, if anybody remembers Raptor.exe, uh, Shadows of something, now that was an amazing game like this, but it was like a vertical on the rail shooter instead of like a side scroller. I love games where you can buy upgrades and unlock things for doing better and it adds replay value because you want to see what all the upgrades do. But yeah, if you really wanted to take this series a little bit further, make longer stages, make their upgrades, kind of where you need the upgrades to progress. Not like forced, if you're like good enough you can beat it, but where if you're not good enough you can actually like get upgrades to make it easier for you to beat it. But that might be against the creator's vision. Maybe he just wants everybody to use the same skills and then learn how to best use the mechanics in the game or abuse the mechanics in the game. This is what I'm talking about with them. And I was hitting the D key there. It just doesn't go off sometimes, which is frustrating. When the DQ works, it's pretty amazing because it it's basically like your iframe. But when you're hitting it, it, it's unresponsive. I don't know why that is, though. I don't even know how to, like, tell you guys to avoid that. It just seems like it does it sometimes when there's, like, an attack nearby or something. Because it's not like I'm spamming it. It's like the first time I'm trying to use it and she won't use it. I know she won't use it while you're shooting, but she will use it while you're moving sometimes. I don't know. It kind of feels like when a shot's like so close to you that it won't go off like it's not meant for clutch dodging which is what I think it's supposed to be for but I don't know I don't know I just know sometimes it doesn't go off and it's not my keyboard I thought it was my keyboard at first but I know it's not now because I was like testing the D key while I replay through this Maybe I'll get higher than D-Rank now. Maybe you can only get D-Rank if you're on a certain difficulty, I don't know. I did die a lot the first time I played through on Stage 3. I didn't die till Stage 3, but Stage 3 is long, and it's kind of difficult, because there's a ton of enemies. And freaking all oh, the music. And the damn insurance company made it where I couldn't hear the music on my playthrough. And then when I was recording, it was so loud, dude. Probably turn it down again, to be honest with you. I have a like negative 17 decibels, and it's still like filling up the OBR, OBS bar. I'll turn it down some more. I don't know what to do about it. Just like the most lacious dubstep. It's not even like bad dubstep, it's just so loud. God dang, dude. Let me live.
And it's kind of annoying having to turn down your computer sound to adjust the sound for a game. That's kind of toxic, honestly. Because then when you start doing other... It's just an inconvenience, but damn. I don't play games to be inconvenienced. <laughs> Not the biggest deal, though. But it's annoying. But yeah, I was actually trying to avoid this king because I thought it was going to be exactly like Naginata, but I'm pleasantly surprised that he did make changes to the game. Because the jump skill was useless in Naginata. I thought that was just garbage. The bat form's good when it works. It's really good when it works. And the upgraded attack's really nice. I don't know why he made the special move so crappy, though. <laughs> I don't know. At first, I thought it was because it was made it too easy to kill the bosses. But that can't be it, because it's still easy to kill the bosses, it's just hard to kill. Because even though it weaves, which messes it up against regular enemies, the weave doesn't protect bosses because they're too big. I don't know what the reasoning was for it. Maybe it was just like, unintentional. But yeah, there's still a lot of improvement he could do to the series if he wanted to, with form of the enemy attacks. Oh. Somehow making the bat form work better. I don't know how to do that. I can't even, like, help with that, honestly. I just know sometimes it doesn't respond, and I don't know why. Maybe he knows, since he's a crater. I don't know. I would assume he knows. God dang, I took a lot of damage there. Oh well. <sighs> Yeah, the bosses have like a little iframe frame at the start of the fight, which is kind of annoying, but it's alright. I do like the- I don't know if you got all your HP back in Naginata when you went to the next stage or not. I know if you die, you do, but... And I know you have checkpoints as well, like Naginata did. I don't know if the creator speaks English though, so I might be giving like tips and stuff and he cannot understand me, honestly. <laughs> That's, I just thought about that with how the uh, ending credits were like in Japanese or whatever language it was. I think it was Japanese. Yeah. So. I don't know. Maybe he's in? I don't know. Maybe he speaks both. Because obviously the openings in English ish and his company name but I don't know that's something I think that they should really put back in the game so it's just unlockables bro god that's something on this that was all like if there is an unlockables DLC it's not like oh you got further in the game we're going like, unlock this character with better stats, or these, this certain kind of attack or weapon, or upgrades. It's just not as... That used to be at, like, every game, dog. Like, almost every game. Now it's just so rare. Oh, I was trying to move my cursor because I noticed it was on screen and he shot me in the face! Why would he do such a thing? But yeah, hopefully we'll be safely on the first time that first try this time because this I think I died like four times the first time I played through but a lot of that was just hearing my voice and not having music which just triggers me not as bad as it used to since I've been listening to a lot of editing and stuff but still <laughs> annoying I was gonna go get something to eat, and then this game was like, ah, too loud. <laughs> Got him! I was really debating not playing through it again just because stage 3 is so long, but. Because instead of like the two parts and then the boss fight, it's three parts and then the boss fight at leg. So, what well, do? And you can't rush because. unless you're really good at the game. Because the enemies will spawn, Lord. 
In Naginata, you could because the special move was so good, but not in this. Not like this. God, I love the bat form when it works. I hate it when it doesn't work, though. It triggers me. It's like irresponsive sometimes for whatever reason. This is the lag. This 16-bit game destroying my computer. No. Perish the thought. I'm in a bad spot right here. I'm in a real bad spot. I'm in a real bad spot. Get off me, dude. God dang you. I don't know what determines your score in this game either. I know probably continuing hurts your score a good amount, but I don't know if like shooting errantly affects your score or... What the... Oh, her character model's still big as hell though. Her dome's not, I don't think it's large as the Naginata Geisha, Geisha chick, but her sprite is still huge compared to everybody else's. Ah, ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. Turn him out of the chrome dome. It's funny though, like, the smallest changes can make such a big impact on the game. I, I enjoy this so much better than the Naginata game. And he, he really only changed, like... God, that special attack sucks! Oh my god. I wonder how the damage is determined for the special attack, actually, because it's kind of garbage. It misses too, bro. It misses so bad. It didn't do nothing to that mini boss either. Did you see it? Like, barely chunked his health. Must regular attacks were doing more damage. It's literally only good for bosses, I think. I don't know what these balls do. I think they're like suicide units like the other ones, but I don't know. Those aliens take like five hits to kill too, which is freaking tragic, dog. Oh, damn, I forgot you can't shoot those. I was literally just shooting at it like dumbass. Mm, this is weird. Okay, we'll do this the right way. Because I know you don't turn around. The green ones will turn around, but the purple ones will not. So that's nice, I guess. Consolation prize. and then the boss leg. I don't know if I like the concept of adding more arcs, though, before the boss. I get it makes it a little bit more difficult and longer, but uh, that's just so bland. Falling asleep at the wheel. <laughs> Playing through this. This H3 is just so long, dude. Like, I haven't died, it's been 20 minutes, and I bet, like, 10 minutes of it so far has been stage 3, and I'm not even done with it yet. For dick. At least the aliens don't shoot off the screen like the goblins do. But, oh my god, that hit me. God, my giant... Oh, I'm so freaking... Thick! God, I hate that. Something that might make those fireballs feel a little bit better too is if like, you know how I was saying, if there was a circle on the ground and you have to move out of it, maybe put a circle for those fireballs too, just so the player knows where it's gonna actually land. Dodged into those damn fireballs so many times, boy. God damn it. These aliens, bro. 
bro. They just like to go on these standoffs with me. Oh, the bomb. Drop the bomb on me and you're turning me. Oh, yay. What is that one song by Jethro Tull? Forever Long? Or Aqualong? <laughs> that song is Forever Long. Oh, dang. Soon. I don't know which one I'm gonna do though. Ugh! I'm just finishing the first season of Jujutsu Kaisen. It's alright. Pretty stereotypical shonen. It's a little bit better than your average shonen, I would say. A little bit above average. But I, I don't think it's like a great anime. I got finished Raw Raw Ra too. I don't know what it is with that. Studio, but like Bakano, Durarara, they're like a series that I start and I have to like restart them because they like they start so slow and then they get amazing. Like they have some of the best plot twists in their animes. The season two of Durarara is so bad compared to season one or the second twelve episodes after the first twelve. God dang, they're so bad. I'm so dumb. He's on top of me. So that alien glitches. If you get too close to him. He stops shooting, which is nice, but he just like runs on top of you and just sits there until you kill him, which is weird. It's not a bad thing, but it's weird. Now, if he sat on top of me and just nuked me to death, I'd be kind of pissed, but he doesn't do that. Ah, flame, you bastard. There yet. Are we there yet? That's what I feel like playing this game. I'm seriously. Alright, one more thing and we're at the boss. This one's not super long compared to the other three arcs of this stage. God dang, dude. Yeah, since I last talked about stage three been long, it's been four minutes. <laughs> but yeah, I usually like it when the Oh fuck, dude. It didn't even hit me at first, it just like hit me as it like passed by because it's weaving. I like quantity of, or quality of difficulty over quantity. Like neat dodge mechanic or neat things you have to dodge or something like that instead of just adding more enemies and farther stages. That just gets so so monotonous. Ah damn. Brain shuts off after a while. As you can tell, oh hell, there's the boss! Take this! He's killing me, boys! Oh, thank god! Oh my god, I would have been so mad if I had to start over. I might have quit. I might have just, like, edited in the last boss fight from the first playthrough. That's probably what I would have done, honestly. I would not play through that stage again. It's too long. Yes! I'm the best! Oh my god, can you believe it? As for Super Suck. Alright guys. Thanks for watching as always. Like I said, this game's a 7 out of 10. Because it's definitely better than Naginata. He made improvements. I'm not the biggest fan of this genre. But I appreciate when creators actually try to improve their game. Um, but there's still a lot of improvements that you can make to the game as well. But yeah. I don't even see Naginata in here. There's Ninja... This girl, that ain't Nagi not a girl, Geisha. And there's me. Me! Alright guys. Bye! And thanks for watching.